This is a low back pain disc herniation video. The spine has bony vertebrae separated by discs. The neural structures, uh, you find the spinal cord, which ends at the level of T12 L1, the conus medullaris, which is the end of the spinal cord, and the coda equina, which is a lot of nerve roots, usually begins at the level of L1. Different conditions of the lumbar spine, including disc herniation, are the main cause of low back pain. The lumbar spine, which is the lower back, consists of five vertebrae. We call it L1, L2, L3, L4, and L5. These vertebrae are attached to the sacrum, the tailbone, at the lower end of the spine. The disc between the vertebrae are cushioning pads which absorbs the shock. In a normal disc, there are two layers, the soft gelatinous inner layer, we call it nucleus bulbosus, and an outer thick strong layer, we call it the annulus fibrosus. Behind the disc lies the spinal nerve root and the coda equina. A major disc herniation of the lumbosacral region could affect the nerve roots. In about 95% of all disc herniation cases, the L4, L5, or L5-S1 disc levels are involved. Herniation of L4, L5 disc will affect the L5 nerve root. Herniation of L5-S1 disc will affect the S1 nerve root. Types of disc herniation. There are three types of disc herniation. Number one is a protrusion or a bulge. This is a small bulge of the disc with intact annular and posterior ligaments. The second type is disc herniation. In this type we have disruption of the annular fibers, either partially or totally with a tail of disc material extending into the disc space. The third type is called sequestered disc, a free fragment without a tail extending into the disc space. The fragment may have a chance to be reabsorbed spontaneously and it may actually uh, get better with epidural injection. Typical locations of disc herniations. There are three typical locations for disc herniations. It's central. It's a rare condition. It will affect multiple nerve roots. Patient will have back pain more than leg pain. It may cause incontinence of bladder and bowel. Urgent treatment is necessary if the patient present with neurological deficit. The second location is posterolateral. Usually it is the most common location. It involves one nerve root, the lower one. For example, L4, L5 herniation will involve the L5 nerve root. Foraminal. It occurs in about 8 to 10 percent of all cases. It involves the exiting nerve, for example, L4, L5 foraminal herniation will involve the L4 nerve root. Discogenic back pain. It's an internal disc disruption with early disc degeneration. The patient is worse with flexion and setting, 
and better with extension. Forward flexion is limited on exam and there is no radicular symptoms. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.